guys and welcome to another video today you won't see just my cat but you also will take a look at this magazine I'm going to do some soft speaking uh, while chewing gum for some people it seems that it's a good trigger as well. So we're gonna do that. Maybe with a little bit of hand movement. Let's begin. So this is um, Fortune magazine. I don't think it's um, one of the recent ones, but it's from October. Well, this month, I guess. I'm not sure how often they come out, but um, let's take a look what's inside. And uh, I guess this is um, on the cover. Marilyn Houston. Now, CEO of Lockheed Martin. Let's see. And this feature, this magazine features rather 50 most powerful the women. And let's take a look. I hope it's one of those that has at least uh, a little bit more information versus ads. Ten executives taking customer service to the next level. Well, it looks like um, this is sponsored by Salesforce. How to spot the next financial crisis A decade after the last devastating crash Here is a breakdown of DNA All economic disasters share well, Let's see, 10 years after Great Recession New threats have appeared and here it says that uh, one of the problems that trigger financial crisis excessive household debt has abated interesting but in, in the 10 years since corporate debt has reached threatening highs and you can see it on this um, on this chart here yeah, well, and with that, that is all, while well, China's debt has been among the fastest growing in modern history. As the government debt in advanced economies grants that's growth of public debt the share of uh, GOP, GDP is quite increasing as you can see uh, long running social problems remain income inequality is about the same as before the crisis and uh, you can see that it's creeping up and then while labor share of US GDP, which has been falling since 1960, has shown no clear rebound in the past decade. Oh, and that's this chart. Well, this is all very depressing, so let's move on. A biotech boom in China. Looks 
like um, some company share price has fallen 11% since its IPO. It kind of reminds me of, um, remember those, um, Theranos, um, the company that was supposed to be, uh, groundbreaking in Silicon Valley that was fooling everybody about their blood testing devices. You can never fully trust these startups sometimes. Gotta be very critical. Alright, there's an, um, a, um, an ad from Air France. France is in the air. That's an interesting um, cell phone case, don't you think? It looks like um, one of the magic mirrors. Okay. The next crisis, say frack up. I don't even know what that means. So, but Beth- Bethany McLean takes on shale oil industry in her new book, Saudi America. And the truth about fracking and how it's changing the world. That might be an interesting um, read. Let's see. And a little bit of statistics here. Plus 0.1% real wage growth. And here wages rose 2.9 in a year ending August 2018. But factoring the inflation, the numbers are pretty much flat. And then 4.8% financial services. The 8.6 million people employed in financial services saw the biggest wage increase. Well, I can tell you that was not me. Not at all. Plus 1.5% in mining. Despite political buzz about bringing back coal, mining wages have risen the least in the past year. Well, that's not surprising. Coal is going to be faded out, either or. Okay. The next trillion dollar stock. What could it be? here they were just talking about um, Amazon and Apple and then also Alphabet which is Google and Microsoft <coughs> retail bricks and bring online box companies that resisted closing stores are growing online sales as a result that's Walmart, Target, Kohl's, Home Depot, Nordstrom, and uh, Best Buy. Interesting that uh, Amazon now accounts for nearly half of the U.S. digital sales. Oh. I certainly buy quite a bit from Amazon. Mm -hmm. This is countries with highest HIV, AIDS, and TB incidents in 2016. That's in the African continent and then also Looks like India. Um, and then here you can see country countries that have uh, highest NTD and malaria 
and again this is um um looks like a major part of um africa and ndd and i'm sorry ndd is a neglected tropical diseases in human capital today young people wearing sandals in forest fastest growing countries will be riding bicycles tomorrow and inventing cheaper, cleaner, safe cars next week and this is from Bella Moulund Gates that's true he's saying investing in health education, sanitation and supporting family planning. Now let's take a look at 20 best workplaces for manufacturing and production. Stryker is number one, and they're based on and they're just medical devices based in Kalamazoo. JM Family Enterprises in Florida. Luna International, Mars, American Transmission, Hellcorp, Contour Resources, FOA Chink, Devon Energy, Graco. These are where the top ten. I'm just going to open some one winery in Oakville. Huh. Doing things right from the start. And here they talk about conjure resources. And this is number seven. Uh, starting sharing ownership also means sharing the pride that comes from being recognized as one of the best places to work, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, okay. More ads? And something about construction agencies. Rather interesting. This is an interesting ad, don't you think? It's um pants. You don't really realize that. At least I didn't first. This is one leg, another leg, and a butt. Right here. Pretty unique. Deep within the brain, we found a way to manage the symptoms of Parkinson's. And here it says that life-changing technology from Abbott is helping people who have Parkinson's disease to live more fully. Using a mobile platform, pulses of energy can be sent to the area of brain that helps control um, their sy symptoms. And it's got some sort of wireless implants. Um, hmm. Interesting. Something about AI and automation in this article. And here, the star studded software. In Los Angeles startup Murmur has captivated some of the boldest names in entertainment with proprietary technology and pro-quality snaps. 
Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Reed Hoffman. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's an interview with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's an executive at PayPal during uh, the company earliest years here. Mm-hmm. Co-founded social network LinkedIn. Paving the way, helping forge future generations of women leaders. Well, that's an interesting statement that I like. I have always believed that while you can't always control your circumstances, you can control your response to them. And I think um, a lot of us have a long ways to go. Including myself. Something about the PGA Tour and ad. A formula for better returns. Changing um, corporate reporting rules. Could boost R&D spending. And making some investors happier. This is one of those companies that was featured in um, Best Workplaces in Manufacturing and Production, FOH. I wonder how they decided that these are the best companies. What criteria they use. And whether these companies paid any money to be on that list. Questions, questions. Passions ring the changes. A 181 year old jeweler begins developing at the speed of now. And they're talking about the Tiffany and Corporation in New York. I was not, I've never been a big fan of diamonds and jewelry and such. I'm just not sure why they don't appeal to me, but some of they don't. Now, most powerful women. Marilyn Houston, she's the one who was on the cover. Looks like they didn't follow Photoshop her face too much. She kind of looks real, right? And the second one is Mary Barr, the chairman and CEO of GM. Mm, Abigail Johnson, Vitality Investments. Jeannie Romity, which is a uh, IPM. Gail Bardo and Anthem. And obviously, Shell Sandberg from Facebook and um, it's Africa's Oracle. I don't know how to pronounce Susan's uh, last name here, but. Um, Um, I don't know how many of them I know by name, to be honest with you. I certainly know the uh, names of uh, these large corporations, but um, not exactly the, the names of the executives. And Michelle Gass here from Coles. Um, 
Lisa Davis, Siemens, CG, Beth Ford. Coinbase 
always wants to meet to make to fail. <laughs> Back to cryptocurrency. Interesting. Joanna's fortune celebrates the future fifty list and the twenty eighteenth World Summit. And jumping in the fence. Catherine Hone was on the Justice Department's go to prosecutor for Bitcoin related crimes. Now she's one of uh, cryptocurrency's most important investors. Cool. And there's some uh, different Coinbase. Think of it as a uh, New York Stock Exchange for crypto. Cool. More ads, of course. Anatomy of a bull market. And I guess uh, that would be it for today. We're finishing up with Pat and Philippe. Watch. I don't know even if I pronounced it correctly, but... That's a really nice picture, actually. Well, I hope this was somewhat enjoyable to you. Have a lovely day.